Well, the Orville has returned after a lengthy break. Thanks, March Madness. Well, I, I was a little concerned about that for the health of the show because I really want it to continue, and, I, and there's still no word on a third season. There's rumors saying, oh, yeah, it's in. And they've done some licensing deals recently, so that's probably a good sign that we will get a third season. But anyway... They were really hot when they went off on the break because they had delivered these really fantastic episodes that uh, were, it was quite the game changer for the nature of the show, I thought, and pushed it forward into its becoming its own entity. And uh, But uh, they come back with a show that almost seemed like it was going to be kind of a quiet show, a necessary show. It, it's, it's progressing on a narrative that's uh, been started all the way in, from the first season concerning the Mocklins. But it does heat up by the end. So, yeah, all surrounding about what happened with Bordas and his child, Toba, uh, being forced to become male when the child was born female. And uh, now uh, we have a show. Uh, they have some uh, Mocklins come on board once again to help uh, with, with weaponry and uh, the technology. The Mocklins apparently are brilliant at weapons technology and far superior than the rest of the Union. And uh, they're helping out outfit the Orville and whatnot. And, uh, oh, they got some secret package in their quarters, and they don't want anyone looking at it. And, well, lo and behold, it's a baby, and it's a female baby. And they're running away from Mocklin Society to go to some other planet. They claim uh, Bordas discovers this, and because of his sympathies, he allows this to happen and keeps it secret. Uh, but uh, as a result of this, he's compelled to expose Torva to this. Corva, Torva has been having some, some uh, or Toba, I'm sorry, not Torva, uh, has been becoming a problem child, acting out at school. And the teacher, our guest star for this, <laughs> is Counselor Troy, yes. <laughs> she she retired as a teacher <laughs> is having trouble she tells Clyden and Vardis all this stuff and Vardis uh, decides to let Toba uh, uh, see the female girl to in the hopes that uh, Bordis, he, uh, Toba will understand that it's not right to be hating females uh, and uh, well uh, Toba feels compelled to uh, reveal the truth and so he tells on his dad <laughs> So Captain Mercer says, "Hey, you, finally, you didn't. You're supposed to inform me of this. That I had a stowaway on the ship and all that." And then they're concerned for this, even though obviously the crew of the Orville is sympathetic to uh, Bordas's position on on this business of no females on on, on uh, Mocklin. Uh, it's the problem they introduce it uh, that well, how do you know these guys were really the parents? You know, well they may be might be trafficking in children or something. You know, and he's like, well, I, I don't. Know. He didn't think of it, and it's a, it's a possibility that they took advantage of his sympathies because everyone on Mocklin pretty much knew the trial that he went through trying to keep his his daughter female uh, and all that. And uh, well, it may is a pretty sensible, uh, a credible scenario that could be the, the problem. So they have to pursue the ship that the, the couple left on. And uh, turns out, no, they're not going to the planet. They said they were going to go try to seek asylum in. No, no. They went off into some mysterious nebula. Uh, the Orville goes in it. And lo and behold, there's a star system within in this uh, thick nebula. And, of course, uh, brings us the title of the show, Sanctuary. It's a planet where these uh, female Mocklins have escaped to. And there's a sort of underground railway. And once again, Havina, who we were introduced to with Bordas' trial, uh, she's actually the, the revolutionary leader leading this and trying to uh, uh, maintain the, the female aspect of uh, the Mocklin society. And so there they are. They got their little village, and there's a bunch of islands on this mostly water planet. But anyway, there they are. And uh, uh, Bordas is fine with all this, you know. <laughs> but... Uh, the females there, they don't want them to leave because they want to remain secret, but uh, Mercer says, well, you're going to get found out sooner or later. Why not I petition the union to uh, grant you some protected status, and uh, we'll go from there. And So that's what they do, and this brings up, uh, they, they show the union council where the, the, the Mocklins are angry about this, and they're threatening to leave the union, but there's the problem. If they do, this weakens the union with uh, the threat of the Kalons, but then that also leaves the Mocklins threat because the Kalons intend to wipe everybody out. And um, meanwhile, there's the possibility for the Krill, but then the uh, Mocklins say, yeah, but we have more superior technology, so we could uh, ally with the Krill, and they would leave you alone, and the Kalons would wipe you out. But the problem is they all three need to be in the same alliance to really be a force 
uh, capable of beating off the, the Kalon. So that's how they resolve it, uh, even though they're, uh, the, the females won't be recognized as having individual rights or to be an independent state, if you will, separate from Auckland, which would be the more reasonable way, means of handling it, but, well, they're steadfast and stubborn in their means, and or you know, ways, rather. And uh, so, uh, once again, uh, taking the Star Trek template and doing it right, <laughs> unlike another show, uh, here you have uh, a metaphor for cultures that uh, you don't particularly like, but you kind of have to look the other way. And when it comes to uh, a shared enemy or threat, of course, most famously would be the situation where the United States had to be allied with the Soviet Union against Hitler. And all throughout history, you'll find similar circumstances. And this is where the Union is. But they, they do come to an agreement here, but, but not before. There's a fight between the Orville and the Mocklin ship, and also uh, the Mo it did demonstrate that the Mocklin ship was probably far superior to the Orville, uh, but for some uh, clever maneuvers from Gordon, <laughs> uh, which he stops to explain in the middle of the battle while they're being shot at. But again, that's <laughs> Star Trek does the same thing. Wait a minute, I could you just do it? <laughs> um, uh, probably another weak spot is that is a, is a ground battle where Kelly. And uh, Bordis goes to defend the uh, female colony, and uh, they're, they're, they're able to fight off the team, but it's only the two of them, and then some of the villagers help out. And then all of a sudden, I, I don't know if they held them off or the, the door was locked, but one of the, uh, the little huts opens up, and the, the female militia comes out, and they're all heavily armed, and I'm like, well, where the hell have y'all been? <laughs> <laughs> so so they're doing pretty good for a while, and then all of a sudden the word comes, okay, there's been a decision, and... Yeah, you know, they're just going to have to leave them alone. Uh, so, uh, it, it, again, a serious take on a metaphorical story that's typical of Star Trek here in the Orville. And they do it well. And, of course, it uh, carries on a narrative that they established for Bordas uh, and so on. And there's another little uh, obvious parallels that are always going to be there where I kind of think Kelly is basically the Riker to Bordas' uh, wharf and how they team up and stuff like that. So... Uh, all well and good. Some interesting little uh, thought-provoking uh, stories here. Uh, some good enough amount of humor that must be maintained for this show. And there's a, uh, quite a few incidents here where uh, you know, uh, Mercer, <laughs> he's no Picard, <laughs> and all that sort of thing. And uh, but also uh, it, when, when you're 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 uh, the comedic elements is is a natural part of your show. All of a sudden, having a Dolly Parton song blare into it <laughs> uh, can work, as opposed to all of a sudden having a No Doubt song in your battle with the Skrulls. Yeah. So it worked out okay here, and it was funny how the revolutionary leader thinks he hears the lyrics of Dolly Parton's 9 to 5 and uh, <laughs> leaves it, sees it as revolutionary poetry. <laughs> <laughs> that will now be a part of their uh, their cause. So, <laughs> so uh, it, it all works out. It's well-rounded, and it's just a damn good show. And I do hope it does get picked up again. So there you go. Uh, once again, the Orville knocks one out of the park. And uh, but like I said, there's a few little things like I thought was a, kind of a mistake here and there. Not enough to ruin it for me, and I got my entertainment, and uh, I loved it. So, five stars once again <laughs> for the Orville. Thank you for watching and listening. Say, while you're here, why not like and subscribe? Yeah, you could do that. And for those of you who already have, thank you very much. And hey, while you're here, check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores that have plenty of goodies for you. Bless Gordon. As soon as we locate the stuff we we'll radio you to send the miners. Right. I'm ready, Clark. Shut up, Dale. There you go, Dale. Rest on me. And no, that's not a gun in my pocket. Get your hands off of him, Dale. I, I mean, Dale. Baron. Still feel like you want to go on? I missed him by a hundred yards. Drop the next thing on that mountain and throw a knife to the ridge. Thank you.
Maybe we should, I don't know, take cover? Say, friends, check out Nelson Theater at selfie.com slash Nelson. Yes, there you'll find my poor man mystery science theater treatment of public domain movies that really deserve the treatment. Yes, you can head over there and check out the links to my trailers to such films on my YouTube channel. Yeah, you can preview them and then head over back to selfie.com slash Nelson and purchase yourself some Mr. Nelson treatments of movies. I'll be right there to guide you through it.